Hello, my name is Camilla Labarca Lina Weaver. I'm a printmaking student here at University of Houston Clear Lake. Um, this is my fourth semester taking printmaking. Um, I'm graduating in December and uh, I did a little video to show the process of printing one of my woodcuts. Um, there's a lot of work that goes on before I even get to this process, like the carving of the wood. Uh, that usually takes anywhere from 15 to 20 hours, just depending on the, uh, the detail and the, the size of the wood. Um, so that's already been done. What you're going to see today is just the process of me actually printing. Um, the way I print my woodcuts is I print a monotype first, which is just rolled inks on plexi, and then I print my wood uh, woodcut on top of that. So that's what you'll be seeing today. At this point, I've already done most of the preparing that it takes to do this entire process. And that leaves me ready to start mixing my inks. So at this point, I, I like to work with a lot of color to create different moods for my prints. Um, the first process of the of the entire printing is doing the monotype, which is just uh, rolled inks on top of a plexi that I lay directly on top of the woodcut. This sort of lets me map out where I want my colors in relation to the woodcut. I check the back of the plexi because that allows me to see what it's actually going to look like when I print it. Um, at this point I take a piece of cardboard and I remove excess ink from areas that I want to be highlighted which will just be the white of the paper. I do that very loosely um, just to create highlights and more texture and movement in the background. I also scratch the surface with a paper towel because it creates just small textures and lines. I then clean the edge of the plate and then I set the plate aside on the press. This is the next part of the process in which I ink up the wood block. I do this with a bit of a larger brayer and I, then I check the ink to make sure that it's um, inked properly. Now I am ready to print. So I dry my paper and I get the press ready for the paper so it can be completely clean, no excess ink on my paper. I set the pressure that I've already, I've already figured it all out so now it's just a matter of printing. I lay the paper on the press. You typically don't do this but I do it because I'm very small and um, printing this by myself is difficult so I've kind of just come up with this method of printing on my own which requires a chair. And then I print the first layer of color or the monotype. So I lay it down on the press and I register it using a template that I've put beneath the, the press bed and then I very gently lay the paper down. Then I cover the paper with newsprint. I lay the blankets down and then I roll it through the press. Now I pull back the first layer and I leave the paper on the press and just lay the paper down over the back side of the blankets. And then at this point I switch out the plexi for the wood and then I repeat the process. I align it, I register it, then I lay the paper back down on top of the wood and I roll that through the press once again. And that creates the second layer. And then this is my favorite moment of the entire process is actually pulling my print. And there you can see the finished product. 
So that was a very quick overview of what it takes to create one of these prints. There's a lot more that goes on that you don't get to see, but I hope that you enjoyed the process and you get to see a little bit of what goes on in the studio. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and if, feel free to check out more of my art at CamillaLunaWeaver.com.